Hello, everybody, welcome to Kids Game. I'm your mouse kid. Today, back at it again with some more important work. Playing Amazing Mod Awakening of the Rebellion. Um, so, in the downtime between the last episode and this one, uh, someone in the last episode commented that Chandrilla and this planet, Corturium, I'm not going to really attempt for them not to say it. Um, these are what's considered- this planet has high population value. This is an agricultural world. Same with this. This is a agricultural world. Meaning these guys have high population value. Which is very important, I guess, for really early on in the game. I was- I had- if you guys remembered, I was retreating off these plants. I had sold- that's not just- do where I tell- just go where I tell you to go. There we go. I had sold this, and I had sold everything but the main base on this one. I have now since invested on the Trandrilla a supply, a regular base, which I might upgrade to tier 2 just to hold on to it. And I have put a Mistress Space Station on here to help hold this one, and I'm planning on, actually, now that we have the credits, Building that's not what I told you to do. Beginning Building one of these to immediately start getting it properly defended, and Let's get this one done really quick. That was the refuge mission we were doing, by the way. That we started last time. Um, move this over here. Okay, so this is a pretty solid defense here. We got orbital defenses, combat station, and we have a hangar defense. That's pretty good. Let's get everybody into fleet lead positions and all of our separate fleets. Fleet lead. I'm going to want to bolster this fleet's defense, especially its fighter capabilities and kind of brawler, because this has heavy armor, but I don't want it, this thing to be solely taking everything, so I'm going to want a couple of, couple more dreadnoughts, and over here I'm going to definitely build at least a couple of those just to get started off. I'm going to definitely want more, but I kind of want to focus over on the Moncala sector as well. Um, let's get the Moncalamari sector fleet, fleet lead. Yeah, I'm definitely going to want some better fighters before I go in and attack the wheel. Which I might do in this episode, it depends on if things... Let's get two of each. We're now broke. Okay. So now, we gotta get started on this invasion. Molestar, do you have any... I'm particularly looking for some of those new... Hey, what happened? Oh. Counselor, thanks you for the great service. Performed him reward aspects. I said to award you generously. Okay, cool. We got two envoys. That's cool. Move you there temporarily. That way I can. So I have. Let's throw one on Corsant. And. Let's do. Okay, no. Let's actually do the wheel, because I know this has really good production. Where is it? Yeah, let's actually throw this on the wheel. We're going to scramble over to here. Do I have any place I can build ground units? I do. I kind of want to build this, just because I can also want to see what it's capable of doing. This is light tank. Let's read its description. Well, Ultra Light Assault Vehicle, the or ULAV for short, are her light combat with spears developed during the Clone Wars. They're highly available. Okay, yeah. I already read that. You can pause if you want to read that again, but I'm not going to. Let's start getting... Uh, you have... No, you don't have really any... You are a miner here, so we do have to be careful with you. Move you to right here. Away. Um, definitely get these guys. Move them to here as well. This one's kind of got a weaker ground force, so I'm definitely gonna have to pull off of Molestar or Mustafar. I mean, some of these heavier tanks, plus definitely this because we kind of lack anything else. Alright, move out. Move out. Also, you. Join up the main fleet, please. Thank you. Alright, let's have Lucky Lou here. Are you done building this? You are done building these. And if I remember right, I can only build two of them. 
so I want you to immediately go and join back up with the main fleet. Also, let's make sure all of these guys are over here so I can have a proper look at them. Also, why are you all... Oh, I'm <laughs> so confused. Let's actually start getting a raiding force together. Because that was my whole purpose of building this thing right here. Was to get a nice little raiding party. Also, is that us? Space Tech? Is that us? Don't mind me for getting completely what we actually built. Pause. What did I build? Okay, I built frigates. That's actually good because I want... I believe I get the... What's it called? Let's go over to here. I believe... Hello? 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 Am I already here? No. I want to have a look. I guess I gotta... There we go. That was weird. Um... Yeah, that was weird. Why can't I? That's so weird. I don't know why I can't just look in at it. Okay. So I believe that gives us the ability to create twin blades. Yeah, lines. This is good because this is good artillery. So I'm going to immediately start getting at least one of these off the line as soon as we can. I know we can't right now. Ooh, Solus fan. Good. Good, good, good. This fleet is looking really strong right now. First of all, get up here. Um, I might want a couple, how's our, okay, we, we can afford a couple more. I might want a couple more fighters, or in particular bombers, if it's even possible. Is it possible? I actually don't know. I don't appear to actually have the things I would need to do that. What did I, did I build the right thing over here? I wanted to build you. Sensor rays. Also, one of these gives me the ability... Is it Azimut Station? Oh, it is. Yeah, I get the ability to create Tuscan, Tuscan Starfighter Squadrons, which I like, because I like those. I like Tuscans. They're, uh, they're a good interceptor, at least in my opinion. They're decent at intercepting, and they're relatively cheap. Um, let's have a look at this fleet. So this fleet, what's your compliments? You have a... You have two squadrons of Z95s comes out in waves of one. Two squadrons of R41s comes out in waves of one. Two squadrons of Y Wings. That's good. This is a really good squadron. So we got at least two bombers at no, at least. And this one, so three bombers. That's decent. That's really decent. Um, we know we get two fire squadrons from here. Mayhaps getting one of these. Or not this, but this. Screener Strike Carrier, because this would give us another Y-Wing and T-Wing and another R-41, plus the screening capabilities, which I think we kind of need in this fleet. Yeah, because we only have one real screening ship. Or we could invest into Corvettes, Screener Hunters, which might help us better. Because I want, my main target is going to be Eridu. Like, Profit margins will be large. Hang on, let's have a look at here, because I know they can't actually change this, so they, they have three, so they have... We're going to want to get AR units. Move out. And we're going to have a look at Navarro. And then Eridu, and then this thing to see kind of what we're looking at here. Alright. Move to here. Pause. Let's have a looky here. How are you guys doing? You're almost done here. You're actually done here. That's pretty good. Move, move, move over to here. Thank you very much. Alright. I actually can't afford a twin blade. I'm not going to right now because I kind of need the credits for other stuff. You are almost done with your squadrons here. Or squadron. Yeah, your two squadrons of X-Wings. Squadron reporting. That'll be good. Squadron oh, reporting. squadron is actually... Yeah, let's move this immediately over to here. Same with... You got... Aha! Hello? That didn't take long. Interesting. What are we looking at here? Alright. Let's take a minute. Your big ships are... You have two of these. Three of... Two of them, one of those. That means fighters. They're gonna have... Yeesh. They're looking good in the fighter department. Your average cap is 55. This is 36. Oh no. <laughs> Might be a problem.
Do you have the two, right? No, you only have the one because these are being built here and I never sent them over. That's an issue. That's a big issue. Can I even stop this from occurring? <laughs> Because you come out with A-wings, you Y-wings, plus they're gonna have two of those, so that's two battle key. Yeah, I don't think we can win this. Let's do as much damage as we can right now, before we finally make a decision, because maybe I can at least get rid of some of those battle carriers to make it a bit more winnable but it all depends on our starting forces. I'm hoping for a couple of Dreadnoughts. Our health. Even some Neutron Starbucks, we can thin down the fighter numbers quite a bit. Because that's a big fleet. That's a big fleet. Also, you don't give us X-Wings? Are you kidding me? I always thought you gave us X-Wings. That's a pish issue. I was guaranteeing on those X-Wings. That's a problem. I mean, we get a couple of Y-Wings, but I wanted the X-Wings. I mean... We can definitely keep it alive. Ooh, this is good. This is good, right here. Get in the back. Get all of these together. This is a decent amount of corvettes too. Group three. Move out. Group four. Let's get all of our fighters together. I'm continuing you a fighter at the moment. Group one. I don't have group two. You're gonna have to be my group two. They have a lot of screener capabilities. I'm just hoping I can take out some of their fighters. But the good thing about this is I can get a decent look ahead at what's going on. Also, you just purchase all of this. Give us as much of a fighting chance as you physically can. I know it ain't much because you're only a tier one, so you can only offer tier one upgrades. But this will, this will, what does this do exactly? Improve this whole. Okay, let's have a pause. What are they coming at us with first? Excellent. That is actually excellent. Because that will give this thing some time to actually do its work. Okay, here we go. This gives us some proof sensors. We don't really need this. I do want to continue to look at what they're doing, so let's have a look. Did I not do it? I did it! I mean, no. Roger that. Now Big fighter force. Yeesh. They're coming at us all together, too. They're not coming. They're not. We're gonna get a couple. We're gonna get. We have eyes on them first, foremost. That's always good. Group 3, I need you to get up here. <laughs> Can you focus down on this without moving up much? No, don't move forward. Do not do that. Do not do that. Do not do that. Wait till they get into our flak. Alright, now get involved. Let's 
start. I don't know. See if we can get some hits on this. I know you can't. Group 4. Start trying to do some stuff against this. Jeesh. Not looking great. That's a hunter. Start focusing fire on that. Group 4. Do your best. Group 3, I actually want you to focus down on that. Perfect. Very, very, very good. Immediately focus down on that. And you just, how are you holding? Are you able to kill this thing? It does not appear to be so. Come on, keep giving us all you got. Alright, start focusing on something maybe you can actually kill. Same with you. Oh, that's good. That's so good. That's so good. They're drawing our fire. They're drawing our fire. They're helping us. We have purgles, and they're getting attacked, so they're air growing under them. Oh no, don't go this way. Focus on the guys actually killing you, please. Ooh, weak target, focus. Come on, come on, you got this. Full attack into this, please. We're about to four, group four, no, group three, group three. Oh, that's not good, we just lost. They're actually targeting one ship I didn't want. Take air girl off, take air girl off. Oh, they're gonna miss us, they're gonna miss us. Oh, thank God. They went after the ship I didn't want them to go after. Attack the hull, please. Get there as quickly as you can. Please, for the love of God, attack. Full, take out this, I don't want them to be able to hit us. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Nah. We're getting too overwhelmed. We're getting way too overwhelmed. I don't know if we were able to take out a single ship. Except for maybe a couple of bombers and fighters. Hit this, hit this, hit this. Get some bombs off onto the hull. Onto the hull. Yeah, we're done. We're done. Sad times. I wanted to try and defeat this. Oof, I don't know if we can take that. It depends entirely on how many fighters we actually managed to take out. We took out the bombers. Honestly, that's pretty good. Pause immediately and think about this. They had a lot of fighters, they did. How can our fighters compare? Not great. <laughs> hmm. Too bad Mancala doesn't have a connection to that. Damn. Okay, the best thing I can do for you is get as many of these as I can. Probably not going to be a single damn one, but we can sure as hell try. They're going to come from here. I know that. They have to. This 
this actually seems like a far defend easier to defend position. Do your best. Too bad we can't send any or anything that could get there in time. Alright. Oh, while we're waiting for that assault, is there anything we can do? Besides... Move this over to here, please. Thank you. Pause immediately. Um, don't think you can actually take that. Don't want to take that. That acts as a buffer. This would really open up our flanks. Hmm. Not a whole lot of targets here I can really take, because I definitely don't want to get involved with that. Maybe attacking this would be the best option. I oh, know, it's hard to hard to say. Depends on how what our fleet strength's at. I mean, it's not bad. It's fairly decent. We do have quite a bit of fighters. I mean not quite a bit, but we have some fighters. <laughs> Alright, how are you doing? Not fantastic. I'm gonna definitely want those anti infantry vehicles that are coming off the line here before I actually launch that invasion. So at this point now, we're just waiting for that to happen. Alright, cancel. Get the money back. Let's start this battle. Oh, we won. Or we have a good chance of winning. That helps us out so, so much. We have this, we have this, that's good, that's good. This is such a well easy to defend position. Grab this. What the hell are you- whoa, 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 take a pause. What the hell are you- <laughs> Use a single terminator. This is a new model. Also, they're over here. And also, what the hell am I seeing over here? I'm seeing something. Um... I don't know what you guys can do, actually. Can I help? Sure you can. Go bug them. Can't do much, but you can certainly try. Also, you guys, group 4, will be sort of like a cavalry unit. Or have a quick look around here. See if there's any... Or at least have one of you. Group 4? Oh, get out of here, get out of here, get out of here. What are you? Swoop bikes. Oh, you're just swoop bikes. That's a brand new turret. I love that. Get up to here. Bunker down. You guys kind of have similar... Do I have group 2? No, I do not. Let's pause. Do I have group 3? No, I do not. Okay, so you guys kind of have a similar... All of you really do have... You're all considered... Also, that's fun. My headphones decided to just die. That's a great time. can't actually wait to see how well you guys perform. Group 1? Do I not have group 1? You guys are group 1. Prepare to die. <laughs> Ooh. Interesting. Definitely have you... No, I want you guys to be group 2, and I wanted you alone to be group 3. Get up here. Oh, yikes. Focus fire. Group 2, I know this isn't your best position, but do it anyway. Keep them from destroying this. That's a really important that they do not destroy this, which they've already done a decent amount of damage to it, actually. That's a crying shame. Or it's just not done being built. It's just not done being built. Okay, pause. Start dishing out the good news. A 
also want you to give us anti-air. I do not want a bombing run just mopping us out. What the hell are you? Oh, rocket skiff. Hey. Where are you? I want you to be good old group 5. Begin to do terrible stuff to this while group 4 runs up and does equally terrible stuff like stop it from blowing up. Or worse, running away. Okay, now run away as fast as you can. Get out of here. Oh, and it's offline. Hell yeah. We suddenly have a way stronger defending point here than we did previously. Please focus on that. Come on. Give us some shots. Frick douche. Very, very, very good. How are you holding? You guys are holding so far decently. Group 1, how are you holding? So far equally decently. You guys are designed to do this. Just wreck these guys' existence. And you... Don't be around these guys too much. They're kind of... I don't know why you guys are going so slow. Just be prepared. Oh, we're kind of getting tanked. Take out these, take out the Rodian Hunters, the tier twos, if you can, please. Group one, we're kind of getting flanked here. Let's pause. Uh uh, no, speed up, please. Good dear God, no. <laughs> and let us send these guys to help us in flanking maneuvers. Come on, give us a shot, take it out, take it out, take it out, take it out. Oh, so close. Okay, focus your fire back onto this. Let's not have them completely destroy your infantry. You missed. God damn it, that sucked. Very good, very good. Engage this. You, please, dear God, engage this. This is what you're here for. This is your entire purpose. All units, focus fire. We have bubble fat. Nope, we're kind of getting screwed over here. Let's kill these guys really quickly. Pause. Let's have a looky loo. How you doing? Focus fire. Focus fire. Because if this thing does dies, if this guy dies, their morale kind of breaks. Like he's worth a bunch to them. Group two. You have a new unit. Pause. Hey, group three, take out this guy. Group two, focus fire onto this, please. Oh, he's coming in further. That's perfect. That's perfect. That's perfect. That's actually perfect. He is legitimately falling right into our trap. And now he's running like a little baby. 
Doesn't matter, it's already too late, it's already too late. He is in our base. He cannot just easily run away. And, come on, 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 come on. This guy's not a major hero either, meaning he's dead. That's it, he's dead, forever. We just killed Boba Fett. That's perfect. That is such a good thing to, to have done. Also, human civilians are finally here, so they're going to take some pressure off. Group 1, get joined up by this, fall back to here. All units kind of fall back, a tad. Group 3, get out of there. Fall back, fall back. This is stressful. Okay. Ooh, you. You're desperately... Get over here. Start healing people. That's such a big deal. The fact that you're here is such a good deal. Get over here. Alright. Start helping alleviate some stuff. Engage specifically right here. Don't let them get away. Oh, thank God. Take these guys out. Take them out. Take them out. Take out any units we can get. Take out any units we can get. Do not let units just get away. Wait, they lose these. If they can't get them over there, they lose these. They have to be in the thing. They just lost so much with ground forces. Oh my God, they just lost so much ground forces. <laughs> that worked out so freaking well. Okay. Whew. We're really weak. On the ground, at least. But that's a big deal. We just pushed them back. Thank God. Also, didn't take a screenshot. That would have been a very screenshot-worthy battle. So, okay, whatever. <laughs> Still problem- They got away with only one Rodian Hunter platoon. That's such a good trade. Usually they run. Let's give them some time to try and run. They definitely don't have the ground forces to attack anymore. Let's have a looky loo here. You have a lot. Oh, it would be good to find a good raiding target. Naboo might actually be decent because we get support on Naboo from Nabooians. You know what I mean? Alright. Are you almost done? Fairly close. Are you guys gonna run? That's the biggest question. I'm gonna put some forces on the ground, can I? What does upgrading you to manufacturing base do? What are you? Supply depot and manufacturing base. Just gets you better infantry. I'd rather you have better infantry right off the bat. Train two. Maybe. No, that would probably not be a great idea. We do actually have a flea over here. Hello here. Hello, fleet out of place. How are you? Only a victory, you say? Don't mind if I yes. I can actually do that, because they don't have anything here. I might have to take you up on that offer, because that seems like an interesting thing to do. They just had a fleet go out of place to take the Orbit of Navarro. That's interesting. I can take that to my advantage. Alright. But my next battle I want is the ground battle over Paco... Paco... Ramon? Ramon? Who thinks of these names? Oh, they're not gonna be done in time, are they? If for some reason they're not... I can't even send you guys over here. Maybe you'll get there sooner. I doubt it, but...
Okay, so this is done. Yeah, they're not gonna get here in time. They're not gonna get here nearly in time. We're gonna just have to do it because I'm gonna want the... I don't want this battle to start till I've had this battle because... Oh, I made a stupid mistake. Let's, let's We're gonna have to do the space battle first, I guess. Because I don't want to start the next episode with a space battle, because then I get my fleet lead. I don't have a fleet lead anymore, and that always sucks. Also, just curious, how expensive are these? And how expensive are they over at Moncala? They're, the, they're a little cheaper. Okay, so, MCD Justice. This is actually the cheaper of the two. You, I think, have more firepower. You would have more versatility. And you don't need to be at such close range, I guess. This has got pretty good ground support. I just need those other vehicles. Because it's got good air support, so we can maybe overwhelm the two fighters. Let's speed this up just a tad. Let's have a looky look at what the Empire's doing. So, also, something I don't see kind of used a lot is you open this up, and you go into history, you can actually see a decent amount of what the Empire's doing. Like I just noticed, Empire's made a big purchase. The Black Sun has also made a decent sized purchase. That's them building up their fleet. Military. Black Sun. Empire just took a loss. Rebellion, we're growing our military. They just took a loss. That would be the battle we just had. Planets, of course, we're at the bottom of the list. Alright, let's unpause. Let's get ready to go. Let's have a look at what this ship is. This is going to be a screener ship. I don't actually know if we're going to be able to take this or actually attack it before they just leave. They might attempt a retreat, but it'd still be nice to maybe take a couple, a couple of their ships. They're actually going to get their... No. Yeah, they're actually going to get there first, aren't they? That's the irony of the situation. But I'm still not going to do the ground battle till next episode. Yeah, it's so laggy. It's so laggy. It's so incredibly laggy. Speeding it up almost does nothing. It goes faster when it's not sped up. That's how laggy it goes. And let's get this battle started. Alright, let's see what we can do here. Move out, move out. Go your best speed, get ready. I'm gonna drop in. Pretty much, if I can get, like, let's get, if, the second I can get to here, say, like this is right here, I'm gonna drop this. Okay. And I'm going to drop two of these. That's going to be your battle plan. Split their fire between these two. Come up along both sides of the dreadnought. And then drop these two capital ships. Let's give you some support. We're not going to worry about fighters at the moment. We'll worry about that later. Plus, they don't have a whole lot of fighters, and I think we actually technically, shockingly enough, outgun them. I think two capital ships outguns one. We're already f shooting? Hello? And you get up here. You get up here to help support these guys against anything. And, ooh, interesting. They're contending with some pirates first, it would appear. Are they gonna... Let's move up, then. They're gonna force us to come to them, aren't they? They're just gonna sit there and wait. Aren't they? Well, we're coming to them have a looky loo at what they got coming. Are they actually coming our way? They are indeed. The trap has been sprung. Move this way. Move this way. 
Move this way. Move this way. Have these guys be our group one, of course. They'll do basic screening. The second these guys are focused on these ships, the very second it happens, these guys are getting dropped behind them and focusing down their shields. Oh, tell me you can intercept. Oh, good, you can intercept. Go this way. Stop moving. Start turning. This is a very dangerous game because these guys are going to be in limbo. Alright, we are in flak shields. We're in the flak. Engage. Move up. Move up. Yeah, this is kind of what I was worried about. Get up here. Yeah, no, I wanted you to do that. Yeah, start doing that. Give him time. And... Fadoink. Please don't engage it. It didn't work. They didn't engage it. They didn't engage it. Engage engines. Oh, it's brilliant. Engage this. Oh, it worked. Oh, it worked so perfectly. Okay, pause. Now here's where the fun begins. Now we drop out the fighters. Immediately start assisting here. Immediately start insisting here. What happens if I do this inside this? Does that stop stop things from hitting outside? Yeah, this guy's gonna die, unfortunately. Like I'm 90% sure. Give him a fighting chance. Group one, engage. And come on, take out the engines. Give us a full barrage, please, and thank you. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yep, take out this engine. Immediately start focusing. You focus on the shield generator. You just focus on whatever you can get your paws on. That's good. That's super good. Take a screenshot. It's super b terrible that we don't actually get a really good view of this, except for right here. Although I kind of like the visual of this thing being the main brunt of that. That's super good. We just completely ambushed them. And these guys are being taken care of very, very, very swiftly. Keep running, you're getting your shields back. Drop these guys and this. We actually do have some bombers that are being launched from this. Group 2, engage the shield generator. Move out. I know this ain't your speciality, but engage this. Ooh, that's taken care of. Immediately start doing this. Take out the engines. Take out the engines. Do whatever you can in your power to take out these engines. We will have taken out this entire fleet. We would have taken out- we took out the entire fleet. Oh, that was brilliant. Oh, that was brilliant. That was brilliant. Yep, hopefully. Except for the hero unit. He must have gotten away. Or he wasn't there. He actually wasn't part of that fight, I don't think. Interestingly enough. Oh, that was a good fight. That was a really good fight. That had me... That was made my toes tinkle. <laughs> if we had messed... By the way, why I was stressing so much. If we had messed up and somehow not all of the Victory's guns were focused on Dreadnoughts. When our ships come out of hyperspace, they don't have shields, and their hard points are extremely vulnerable, to the point where like a couple of shots is enough to completely devastate hard points. And if for some reason they had taken out the torpedo launchers of, say, the MC... I wasn't worried about them destroying us, but if they'd taken out some of the vital weaponry of the MC-75 as it was coming in, that is needed to get underneath the armor of the, what should we call it, the thing, we may not have been able to kill the whole fleet. That was good though, that was good. 
Prototype, no designs, and the ID. Destroyer, we need 8,000. I think I have 8,000. Moncala. Yeah, we have 8,000. I actually am in need of ships, so we're actually gonna do that, strangely enough. It'll be nice to get a ship, and plus, we'll get fear. Or not fear, we don't get fear. <laughs> we get hope. Ooh, interesting. They are now vulnerable. That'll be interesting for the next flight. They actually moved some of their ships away. They no longer have the battle carriers, which means they still have a lot of fighters, but not as much. We can definitely take this now, I think. Plus, they were the main damage dealers of this fleet, so yeah, we can take this now. Which I'm definitely going to do in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this kind of content, please like and subscribe. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!